Hey guys, how are we going? Just a bit of a quick one here. Just going to cover how I've prepared for the Lofty Grand Traverse tomorrow, which is a 104km ride that's been organised by a local fellow. Um, and funnily enough, your boy here has decided to do it on this piece. So, not going to be an easy day, but I've become a bit of a believer in the modern geometry on a bike like this is capable of these sorts of rides, no worries. And yeah, I've been doing a fair bit of long trail riding recently and um, in preparation and feeling pretty confident. So yeah, let's have a bit of a look at the bike. So there she is. So not your typical epic ride cross country rig. As you can see, we've got Essentially downhill tires on there, Maxxis Asagai. Long travel suspension, Fox 36. Coil shock, probably, you know, not the first choice for a ride like this, but she'll do the trick. I'm pretty confident in the, the lockout on it. It, feel, it feels pretty good going up hills, so yeah, not too bad. The old NX Eagle with GX. Duralia, 30 tooth chain ring. Uh, got a quad lock mount here on the bars, so I'm actually going to use my phone, which is in my hand right now, for navigation. And this thing is pretty good because you can run it horizontal and it's almost directly in front of me. And I'm going to be using an app called Komoot, which is pretty good. It's got step by step navigation, and I just downloaded the GPX file and put it into it and it seems pretty accurate. So yeah, should be good. Also spent a bit of time fine tuning the position of the bike. So you can see I'm pretty well slammed there on the stem. So I've been trying to fine tune something called a rider area distance, which is the thing I've been looking into in getting the most um, control and torque out of your setup. So that's from the grips down to the center of your bottom bracket. So generally to measure that, it's your height in centimeters uh, times by uh, 4.47, and that should give you the distance in millimeters that, um, that is ideal for, for you, for the cockpit area. Yeah, the, um, your feet to, feet grips type area for the most control. So I've got it within about 20 mils, which is about as good as it's gonna get, unless I get a shorter stem, so good to see how it's gonna be. Feels promising. So on board, got backcountry research strap, just a spare tube in there, the old reliable Maxxis tire levers. It's one bottle on board, which is 600 mil, which is about, you know, as you can see, Pretty crammed in there. That's about all you could fit in there. Um, on the other side, got a pump just in case. Not a real big fan of carrying CO2 cartridges and I'm absolutely useless at cracking them properly. So yeah, hopefully don't have to use it, but just in case. So other than that, I mean the bike's pretty, pretty much as is. Over here, this is everything I'm going to be carrying in a pack. So yeah. One bottle that's gonna go in the pack as well. Uh, Evoc Hip Pack Race, which is 1.5 liters, which will be water in that itself. And in the bottle here, and the one on the bike over there, I'm gonna be putting this stuff which has been pretty good, the Endura performance fuel. So I'll load up on a bit of that tonight and um, yeah, try and get those glycogen levels up and keep my energy pretty consistent. So I'll have the two bottles with that in it and I'll carry a little bit extra just in case, but I'll mainly be refilling this every stop that we've got. So yeah, um, food wise, Quite a bit as you can see. A couple of dried fruit mixes, 
three protein nut bars, six gels, a uh, bit of salt there, protein powder for afterwards, um, and some nitric acid to keep the blood circulating a little bit better, which is really helpful. Also, because it's such a long ride and I predict that my phone battery will probably go flat, I've got two portable chargers here. They were just $10 jobs and um, yeah, the cable there and just got a multi-tool and yeah, that's about it. So it should be pretty smooth sailing because we've got a few stops. Um, hopefully this lasts me, but I'm trying to be a little bit more minimalist. So I was, I was watching Calum from Six Foot Six Mountain Bikes. Uh, set up before and I was like oh man he's got about twice the food that I've got but he is twice the height of me pretty much so I thought this might be interesting to share the contrasting what I would call a bit of a minimalist approach and given that I'm running a bit of a heavier bike uh, around 16 and a half kilos I can probably afford to save a bit of weight so yeah so me and this beast 104 kilometers tomorrow it's on. Peace.